Okay, we're on a no cooling call. This is a repeat customer. Um, I had to knock down the jungle around the unit. Now this wasn't, this is his rental house. Um, there was no jungle around the unit. Looks like his tenants are not keeping up the grass. You can see how long the grass is. Um, we got a condenser fan motor running and no compressor. If I'm not mistaken, the breaker is right here. Yep, AC. Yep, that killed it. All right, let's see if we've got a bad compressor or just a bad capacitor. All right, I've already determined that it's a 30 slash five. It's an AMRAD capacitor, American made. They usually last. Yeah, we're getting 26. That's a little weak, but that should definitely start the compressor. Um, let's check the fan side just for giggles, even though the fan was running. Yeah, 4.7. Okay, now I'm going to check to see if the compressor is in thermal overload. I'm going to have to, to do that, I'm going to have to take these wires off the contactor. This thing, this is a 10 sear pain and it still has the original brown contactor on it. That's what you hear buzzing. See if we have continuity passing through all the windings. If we do, then we'll try a hard start. So this blue one is gonna be our start and then the black and yellow will be our uh, common and run winding. So we'll go, we'll put the dummy tone on. Okay. I don't know if y'all can hear that beeping with the con. I'll try to unhook this contactor so we can hear what's going on. That one is on there, buddy. Okay. There we go. Right, we have continuity passing between so run and common uh, run run to start we have continuity and common to start we have continuity okay so we don't have a burnt wire or anything like that it's not in thermal overload so we're gonna hook it back up and we're gonna try the breaker again and see if we hear you know the compressor attempt to start you know that that dreaded we know the capacitor is weak but it ain't weak enough to it, it, it's got it's it's reading 26 out of 30 which is enough to uh that'll definitely start the compressor still needs to be replaced but i'm gonna see if it even attempts to start and then we'll put a hard start on it and see if that'll break it free if not then they're gonna be looking at a new unit. The indoor equipment is not that old and it's made for 410A. I remember that from last time I was here. So, uh, there's really no way that I can look at my meter at the same time as flipping that breaker from way over there. So, I'm just gonna have to listen for it. All right, I got the contactor hooked back up. Well, there we go. That Oh, that is not a good connection. That contactor, I'm gonna have to replace it if we can get this unit running. All right, let's see if we can hear the compressor attempt to start. Well, it sounds like it started. Or it tried to. We got an amp draw on the compressor. There must not be no refrigerant in this unit. It may have blew its terminals. Let me see if we got any refrigerant in here. All right, so that's what it is. You can see we have that Schrader unscrewed. 
and we have no refrigerant. So we're gonna have to put some nitrogen in it and see what the hell happened. All right, I have my nitrogen rig. I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna just throw a little bit in there. I, I'm, I'm guessing the seal around the terminals has blown. That would be my guess. We got nitrogen going in. Damn, I wanna hear something by now. Huh. Okay, I don't hear shit. And my pressures are not falling. Okay, yeah, they're starting to fall now. Something must have busted inside. Okay, guys, I had jacked it up to about 225 and we're below 150. Uh, nothing out here called the tenant. I can't go in because they might have coronavirus. They're actually waiting on their test results to come back. So the my customer, the landlord, informed me not to go inside. So I had the customer, I called the customer and the unit's in a closet, upflow position. And he and I asked him if he could hear like a hissing sound because I, I put 225 pounds of nitrogen. And he said he could definitely hear something hissing in the closet so that tells me that the leak is in the evaporator it can probably be fixed but we're not going in there today until they get their test results back the landlord is going to come throw some window units in the windows for them if they they get their test results back monday and if they test negative then we'll come back and we'll pick up on this so i kind of just want to explain the uh end of the video uh as i said i couldn't get in the house so i called because the uh my customer, the land, you know, the owner of the home, told me that the tenants have shown symptoms of COVID, and they've been tested for COVID, um, but they haven't got the results back yet. They're not supposed to get them back till Monday, so we were just gonna. And there was no leaks outside, and my pressure was dropping, so I called the tenant. You know, we made no contact just over the phone, and I said, "Hey, do me a favor, turn your thermostat on off." And he turned it on off, and I said can you hear like a hissing sound inside the closet? And he said, oh yeah, it's very loud. And I said, okay. So obviously the evaporator coil has busted here on this one, or, you know, sprung a major leak. So we should be able to repair it. So, but we were gonna, we didn't know how long it was gonna be till we got back due to these people might have coronavirus or COVID, whatever you wanna call it. <clears throat> Well, my customer, the owner of the house, called me uh, later in the day after the call and said that they were going to stay with an in-law. So he's going to fumigate the house, you know, uh, what do you call it? You know, uh, you know, he's going to go spray the Lysol and just, I guess, fumigate it. But so we're going to go Monday, but we're going to put mask on and gloves on. You know, I don't know how much that helps. You know, just like the meme on Facebook says, if you think a mask will stop the coronavirus, that's like saying your underwear will stop a fart. So <laughs> we'll see. But I'm I'm going to take precaution. I'm going to put a mask on and put some gloves on. Take precaution. Get in there and see why this coil is leaking. And hopefully we can get you guys some shots of that Monday. Just wanted to explain that real quick. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys on the next